Hai sobat, di video ini saya meminta tolong kepada AI untuk membuatkan video tentang bencana alam terbesar yang pernah terjadi di Indonesia. Dan ini hasilnya. Ever pondered the sheer power of nature and how it shapes lives, particularly in Indonesia, a country nestled in the Pacific Ring of Fire? This geographical location makes the nation prone to frequent, often devastating natural disasters. It's not just about the destruction though, it's about the resilience of communities, the lessons learned and the constant evolution of disaster mitigation strategies. Understanding and studying these disasters is vital for the future. So, join us as we journey through time, revisiting the 10 most devastating natural disasters in Indonesia's history. Indonesia has borne the brunt of nature's fury several times, with each disaster leaving an indelible mark on its history. Let's journey through time, bearing witness to the 10 most significant natural disasters that have shaped the archipelago. Our first stop is in the year 1815 when Mount Tambora erupted. This disaster remains the largest volcanic eruption in recorded history, leading to a global year without a summer. Thousands lost their lives due to the eruption and the ensuing famine that swept the region. Moving forward to the year 1883, we encounter the catastrophic eruption of Mount Krakatoa. This explosion generated a 40-meter high tsunami, claiming the lives of around 36,000 individuals and leaving the island in ruins. The next milestone is the 26th of December 2004. A devastating earthquake and tsunami struck Aceh, with the earthquake reaching a magnitude of 9.1. This disaster resulted in towering waves that caused immense damage and claimed thousands of lives. In the year 2005, an earthquake with a magnitude of 8.7 shook Nias Island on the 28th of March. This disaster led to severe damage and significant loss of life. Fast forward to May 27, 2006, a 6.3 magnitude earthquake hit Yogyakarta and its surrounding regions. This tremor resulted in thousands of fatalities and extensive damage to buildings. The year 2007 saw Jakarta submerged under a massive flood. This inundation resulted in significant economic losses and forced thousands of residents to evacuate their homes. Three years later on the 25th of October 2010, a 7.7 magnitude earthquake rattled the Mentawai Islands in West Sumatra. This was followed by a tsunami that wreaked havoc on the surrounding islands. In the same year, Mount Merapi erupted, causing a mass evacuation and extensive damage to crops, livestock and infrastructure in its vicinity. Fast forward to February 2014, Mount Kalud in East Java erupted resulting in a volcanic ash rain that paralyzed most of Java Island. And lastly in the year 2018, a tornado struck Sarang, Banten, damaging hundreds of homes and buildings, and leading to casualties and injuries. These disasters, each catastrophic in its own way, have shaped Indonesia's past and continue to influence its disaster management policies. They serve as stark reminders of the unpredictable power of nature, underscoring the need for better disaster planning and mitigation to protect lives and properties. The magnitude of these disasters is not just measured in lives lost, but also in the lasting impact they have on the affected regions. Indonesia, nestled within the Pacific Ring of Fire, has witnessed the ferocity of nature's power in the form of devastating natural disasters. From the catastrophic Asa earthquake and tsunami in 2004 that resulted in towering waves and claimed thousands of lives, to the historic eruption of Mount Tambora in 1815, which caused a year without summer worldwide, the impacts have been profound. The Yogyakarta earthquake in 2006, the Krakatau eruption in 1883, and the Mentawai earthquake and tsunami in 2010, all resulted in significant loss of life and widespread destruction. The major flood that hit Jakarta in 2007, the eruption of Mount Merapi in 2010, and the Nias earthquake in 2005, all led to severe economic losses and displacement of people. The tornado in Banten in 2018, and the eruption of Mount Kalud in 2014, further exemplify the unpredictable might of nature. These calamities have left indelible marks on the landscape and psyche of the nation, pushing for a greater emphasis on disaster planning and mitigation. The lessons learned from these events have shaped Indonesia's approach to disaster management, emphasizing the importance of preparedness and resilience. These disasters serve as a stark reminder of nature's power, prompting the need for better disaster planning and mitigation to protect lives and property. Bagaimana sobat? Hasilnya lumayan bagus bukan? 
video ini dibuat 100% oleh AI, kami hanya memberi masukan tema dan poin-poin pentingnya saja. Terima kasih telah menonton. Like, komen dan subscribe channel kami ya.